Hey everybody and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap Blind. That is right, we are playing yet another game in the Zelda series. After I finished Link to the Past Blind on the channel, I was still craving to play more Zelda games, so here we are playing The Minish Cap for you guys. So a bit of an interesting fact about this game is that I don't really hear much about it. You know, you hear a lot about how Ocarina of Time is like the best game of all time and then Majora's Mask and even like Link's Awakening you hear about. But this is one of those Zelda games where I don't really hear much about it. And when I made the poll on what Zelda game I should play a few months ago, you guys really voted for this one. This was in second place behind Link to the Past. So I'm going to figure out why this game is so good, but not so much talked about. It's going to be interesting. So of course, we're going to name our character here. And, you know, as per usual, we're going to name our character Link. I'm not one of those people that changes the name of this character, at least. But, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm pretty excited. Link, nice little fluid running animation or walking animation, I don't even know. Three hearts, we're going in. A long, long time ago, when the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow, The tiny Pakori appeared from the sky, bringing a hero of man a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. Very interesting story there. Wow. The graphics oh, so far look like Harvest Moon for some reason. I, I get that vibe when I see these graphics. It looks really cool. And if that isn't Princess Zelda, that I don't know what is. I mean, look at her. She looks exactly like Zelda. Good morning, Master Smith. Good miss me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Link? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up last night. Link... Link was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep, and apparently I don't know how to read. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Link, time to get up! Wow. Link, time to get up! Do I not sound like Master Roshi, or do I just have really bad voices? I don't know. But here we are, we are up and about. We can roll in this game, holy cow, look at us go! I missed our roll from Link to the Past, even though we had the Pegasus boot, so it was kind of better there, but eh, it's fine. Is there anything we can do? No. Go through here, I guess. Hi there. I'm here. Hey! Hey! hey Link! Listen to me, my boy! Princess Zelda is here! She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival! Yeah, Link, come on, let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes. After it all, the festival only comes once a year, my boy. Go on and have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making the sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. You accepted the Smith's sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. I bet I won't. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anyone bad happen to her. Anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Link. Let's go check out the festival. I'm actually pretty pumped about this festival. Why are you going ahead of me? I have to keep you safe. But... We got 20 rupees, that's great. 
<laughs> I will go ahead and take my rupees proudly, of course. And let's get the heck out of here. Hey, Link, over here. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. The graphics in this game look really fun and really good. Link, hurry, let's go. Ah, oh, man, y'all are just rushing me. Can I just, like, enjoy five more minutes of sleep? Over here, come on, hurry up. Okay, just keep going. I'll follow you. Where else am I going? Well, here we are. The town of Hyrule. Wait, so is all this Hyrule or... Ooh, okay, I guess I can see the start menu here. Uh, we have pieces of heart. I'm guessing we need four for a heart container. We have a sword. We can sleep mode. We can save our game, which is really nice. We have a bunch of other empty spaces. Kind of like the Ocarina of Time screen, which is really, really nice. Uh, okay, let's go. Ooh. Nice jolly music going on here. Here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Okay, I guess we're gonna look around. Hello there. Welcome to the Picori Festival. They say that every hundred years, the Picori... Oh, I can use B to scroll! Nice! And this is the hundredth year to the day since the last time the Picori were here. Very nice, very nice. Phew, preparing for the festival left me absolutely exhausted. Still, I'm just enjoying watching people have fun. It is fun, isn't it? Link, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. Of course, Zelda is very, you know... Long ago, and even longer before that, evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. But then the Pokori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic light force and the Pokori blade, the beasts were repelled. And the world of humans once more knew peace. Thanks to the Pokori! So not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now remember, little ones, the Pokori only appear before good little children. If you only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them. So be good! I don't believe in the Pokori. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm too old to believe in such stupid fairy tales. Hey, you don't say that about Santa Claus. Do you think I'll really see the Pokori if I'm on my best behavior all the time? Uh, probably. Do I just go ahead and talk to everybody? I think I'm going to do so because, you know, you could miss some really important information or maybe you can get a nice little item along the way. Maybe not so much this early in the game, but you never know. I'm away from seeing the tournament at Hyrule Castle. Let me tell you, watching all those sword fights made me hungry. Ah, yeah. You know what? I haven't eaten breakfast this morning, so I'm a little hungry myself. I love festivals. It's like seeing your town transform to another world. It really gives you a chance to think about how well we have it here. Uh, where did Zelda... Oh, there's Zelda. Hello there. So the Pokori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Zelda. Only once every hundred years does the mystic doorway open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Pokori. When the door opens, the Pokori can enter our world. And guess what? This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. Oh, that sounds lovely. I'm ready for it. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over there! Zelda. Goodness gracious, you're like a child. Chill. We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing? Wow! You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have... This magnificent gem, and finally there's this teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but this heartstone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. What? Why would why would you ever want that ugly thing? What about the heartstone? It's cute! Or, or this giant gem, it's so pretty! Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't the shield suit you perfectly, Link? How convenient. Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. It's so, it's a nice little shield, look at it! Yep, just as I thought. You look great! Now if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. 
Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Link. Okay. So I guess we're going to the castle now. Let's get on our way. Go through the townsfolk. Talk to some people. My sister and I came a long way to see the Pakori Festival this year. It is, is it true that the festival is named after the tiny people the size of my thumb? I want to see what they look like. Do you know where I can go to see them? You gotta be a good little girl or boy and you will be... Be able to see the Picori. That's weird. I've been dispatched from Hyrule Castle up north to watch over the festivities. Well, let's go. We're going to the castle. Come on, Link. Let's hurry to the castle. Dang, this music is so good so far. I'm loving it. Uh, hey! Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passerby. Link, do something about it. Otherwise, we can't get to the castle. If only we had someone to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. Yeah, we gotta defend against those nuts. Against these nuts. Um, so, uh, anyway. Let's hold out our shield. And there you go. Get out of here. Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival, and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. No, you don't. You just don't like me. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, okay. I should feel a little sorry for that business, scrub. But that nut hurt. <laughs> oh, well. He won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Uh, I wish we had a map or something, but I guess we'll, we'll just figure it out as we go. But it, the castle's right here, so there we go. Hello there. Ah, Princess Zelda. When did you leave the castle? <laughs> They're like, wait, hello Zelda. Wait, when did you leave? Pre preparations for the award ceremony are coming along nicely. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, Link, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I pothole. Like, pothole? Pothole? That's weird. Except this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Link, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. I didn't really do anything, but okay. Since you're here, Link, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Okay. Nice. Do you know about that sword, Link? It is called the Pakori Blade, and it looks much evil away. Locks much evil away in that chest. The Pakori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago, the Pakori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Ooh. There's the king! Let the award ceremony commence! Yadi, or Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. Vati. Oh. He doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> to think things would go this well. The Pakori blade and the bound chest have spoken of in Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. What? Does he have the same laugh as the happy mask salesman? I think he does, and it's kind of creepy. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. This isn't good. You guys better do something. Oh no! Oh my god! Wait, wait, what? Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess with the mystic aura! The power which I was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family? Interesting. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do! Uh-oh. To stone with you! I was gonna say, our start. Oh god. Oh no! 
All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Empty? There's nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I could take my time searching for it. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we know who our enemy is. Man, what a crazy day that was. Oh, thank goodness, you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty at the King. His Majesty. Oh, Link, you awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Pokori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pokori? The Pokori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I remember correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Pokori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pokori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Pokori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see! If that's the case, then why not send Link? If Link has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pokori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Pokori blade. You accepted the broken Pokori blade. This is part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it! And more importantly, we got the Smith Sword! It is a sharp blade made by your grandfather! Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deep Wood Shrine. Once, humans and Pokori share that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you! If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. And of course, we got the map of Hyrule. Now you'll never get lost. And that's where we gotta go. But it's kind of like blocked off from the rest of the map. It's weird. I am counting on you, Link. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Oh, is that so? Well, that is interesting. We got a sword. We got a shield. We are ready to rumble. But I think that is going to be in the next episode. So, next time on the Minish Cap Blind, we're going to be, I guess, exploring a bit of the castle. And then make our way to the Minish Forest or the Minish Woods or whatever it's called. And hopefully we can find the Pecori, get a new blade, and stop Vati. But I'm pretty sure it won't be that easy. On that note... Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more of the Minish Cap... Minish Cap? Yeah, Minish Cap Blind. I forgot what game I was playing. Ah, uh, good times. I will see you guys then.